I am sure this is a statement that every one of you might have heard from many people around and multiple sources. Let me help you burst that myth once for all. With right knowledge of concepts, the correct type of practice and the appropriate strategy to select the right questions in the exam, every student would be able to clear the cutoff by scoring the required marks. Don't believe me? Let me show you an example. I will consider the IPMAT Indoor 2023 question paper as reference. In the short answer section to begin with, question number four. Now, of course, the size of the question shouldn't be a factor for any of you to decide whether to attempt it or not. There can be a single line questions which are very difficult and there can be a three to four liner which can be easy. Now, any one of you who has a sound understanding of percentages would definitely be able to answer this question without much effort. Next question number eight. Any of you with a fundamental understanding of the concept of factorial and remainder will definitely be, be able to solve this question within 60 seconds. Question number nine. Everyone who knows what a remainder theorem will definitely be able to find the answer for this question within 90 seconds. It's not only limited to this particular section. Let me also show you a few such questions from the MCQ section. Question number six. One of the very few concepts or the early concepts that we learn in time, speed and distance, average speed, knowing what it is and how to calculate makes it very easy for a student to solve this question. Remainder theorem that has helped us solve one question in the short answer section will help us solve question number eight as well in the MCQ section. Question number 10, a one on quadratic equation and the relation between the roots, which I am sure anyone who has gone through the chapter would have solved multiple questions of similar type. Question number 11, I'm sure simple interest and compound interest is something that scares a lot of you. But if you look beyond that and read this question, you'll understand that it's based on a simple and straightforward relation between simple interest and compound interest that is much easier to answer. Question number 13, based on one of the earlier concepts in number system, which is calculation of units digit. The last one in this lot, question number 34, my favorite, is how to find what equation or what shape a given equation represents, which is the general form of a circle in coordinate geometry. Now with right knowledge of concepts, correct type of practice, and identifying the most appropriate strategy for you in the exam, I am sure each and every one of you would be able to answer all these questions and much more with which you can score the required mark. All the best and subscribe to our channel to get more interesting such videos.